I'm going to show you how we do a curbless shower on a remodel. So we've already pulled up the subfloor and we've got TJI floor joists. This is a little different than if you have dimensional lumber as your floor joists. Basically, we're going to uh, fill in those webs. So first thing we're going to do, since our shower is against an exterior wall and we've got a rim plate, we're going to screw off and glue two 2x4s two with a 3 quarter inch gap right above them. Uh, just to give me my space for my flooring because my flooring is going to sit three quarters of an inch right below it. So that was my gap and I pulled it out. Then I'm filling in the webs of the TJI just with plywood. This is similar if you were going to fill in the webs if you're ever using uh, strong backs to do a rafter system and you would have to fill in the webs at the bottom four feet to make those TJI stronger. So I'm filling in those webs really to make them flush at the top cord and the side. It also gives a lot of tremendous strength, which is not necessary, but we just need to fill in that web. Here, this is a little jig I made just with some plywood. It hangs down three quarters of an inch below, just my plywood, three quarters of an inch. You can see my webbing that I filled in right there. And I'm gonna use this little jig now, and I'm gonna lay it on top of every two by four, and I'm gonna, or every uh, TJI, and I'm gonna fill in with a two by four that sits exactly three quarters of an inch under the top of the TJI uh, so that I can set then a new subfloor in between the floor joists because I'm going to set my curbless shower three quarters of an inch below the subfloor for the rest of the shower. So you can see here's what it looks like when we're all done filling in the webs and setting our two by fours. It's all nicely glued and screwed and it's ready for us to just set our floor joists in. You can do similar with dimensional lumber. You just want to have to fill in the webbing of the floor joists. So there's that. Now with all of our plumbing roughed in, we're ready to go for our shower. I'm going to pull out that pipe coming up at the top once we actually put our floor in. But right now I'm going to just uh, cut and fit each piece of flooring and I'm going to glue it just like a regular subfloor, but I'm gluing it down in between the TGI floor joists so it's three quarters of an inch below. So that's all glued and screwed down. You can see that's what that looks like with the flooring now flush with the top of the TJI floor joists. And we're pretty much ready to go now to set our shower pan once we finish roughing in all of our plumbing and we put the rest of the subfloor back in. So there's the subfloors back in and we're ready to, I pulled the pipe out, the stack pipe for our floor drain, but all the plumbing is roughed in underneath and we're ready to rock and roll with our shower pan. So this is gonna be a Schluter system shower pan. I'm just doing a burn coat, burning in mortar right into the plywood, and then I'm adding more mortar, and I'm troweling it in. We call that fresh corduroy when you put those nice grooves in there. Drop the shower pan, glue up my uh, pipe coming up through the bottom, lift that up, mortar in that drain nice and tight, and there you go, you got a waterproof shower pan ready to go. Now that that shower pan is exactly one inch tall and my flooring is three quarters of an inch below the subfloor. So you can see I have exactly a quarter inch of shower pan above the subfloor. Now once I put my uh, Schluter Dietra on the rest of the floor, it will be completely flush. So here it is with my Dietra down and burned in. I accidentally shot this vertical. Sorry, you'll have to get over it, but there you can see it's totally flush. Shower pan is nicely waterproof. We did do a flood test and we're ready to set our curbless large format shower pan. And this is what it looks like when it's done. So pretty nice and we are happy with it. Everything's waterproof. If you're wondering how we did a flood test on a curbless shower, I'm sorry I didn't get a video of that, but Schluter Curdy has some videos on their own channel about how to flood test on a curbless shower. So go ahead and check those out. And if you appreciate this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up and like and the subscribe. And thank you for watching.